You guys would not believe how excited we were to pick up Benji. When he first came home, he was pretty shy and so quiet and calm. But I guess that only was for the first day because the next day he was absolutely nuts. So it was like a terrorist in our own house. We wanted to get him socialized to as many things as possible right away. That way he can kind of know what to expect from his daily schedule because he is a dog that needs grooming every day. Down. Yes, good boy. I'm just training my one day old Pomeranian. Benji. Yes, good boy. We've had him for 24 hours, that's it. Sit. Yes, good boy. Boy, it. Hey, sit. Yes. Go. Let me just tell you guys, full day two is going a lot better than day one. Yesterday, I was calling him the terrorist. He was biting me. He still is biting me, but we started teaching him right away. Uh, no and stop and so just giving lots of treats when he listened to that and yeah it's going so much better yesterday i was calling him the terrorist and now he's still a little bit but i would say it went down like 70 percent so it's really bearable i had multiple breakdowns yesterday but today he's doing so well still House training is still kicking our butt. He loves to destroy things. He's going to bed so Then the next day we introduced him to my friend Juliana's dog, Marlo. Sit. Yes, good boy. We've had him for three days. I went live yesterday with my first day having him. And now I'm going live today. Down. Yes, good boy. <laughs> You're so, so yesterday he had so much energy and I was like, why does he have so much energy? He's been so good in the evenings and this is crazy, crazier than my hair right now. And I realized it was because the past two days, my friend Juliana and her dog Marlo have been coming over, but yesterday they didn't, so he had so much energy. I thought I would- So I brought Benji over to Juliana's house to play with Marlo, and he could also meet their older dog, Moxie. Oh, he's under the thing. We didn't force them to play together, just more have a positive interaction near each other and get used to older dogs. Then of course, dental hygiene is super important. I don't know why, but he is very into hair today. Hair pulling, yes. I needed more ways to wear out his energy because he is just like one big ball of never ending energy. So I started to teach him fetch. And while doing that, I used the commands, go get your ball. Then when he grabs it, yes. And then I tell him to come. And when he comes, yes. And then of course, let go. Benji. He's totally fine being under there. We really want him to be our little buddy who can go anywhere with us. So we had some friends over and practice and look at how cute he is on the security camera. He just randomly jumped into this little shallow river. I don't know what made him so brave, but he did it. I read online that carrots are a good low calorie snack and really good for puppy teething. So I will do anything to help with this teething and biting. So we have a duck named Bob on our property and this happened while I was FaceTiming my mom while walking him around our property. So this is Benji and Bob meeting each other.
I hear what you're saying, but I'm not going to listen. Because he doesn't have all of his shots, he can't get his grooming done. So he gets some smuts on his butt sometimes, so we have to bathe him. But he looks so cute when he's so little and skinny. Here he is with Cam's Blundstone. It's really bad that he's eating shoes, but I just had to take a picture because it's so cute. I got some feedback from my other two videos with Benji saying that he had way too much access to the house so I put up some green tape and it worked like a charm just like a baby gate so so far it is my lifesaver yes, and I boy, hope Benji, he continues boy. to be scared of it. Now he can't reach our shoes, thank god. Here we are with Bob again. We really have to get them used to each other because Bob often comes up onto our deck looking for food and they just need to, they'll be seeing each other on the property. So first Bob, then hopefully we'll get him used to other animals too. Yes, good boy. Back here. Yes, good boy. I only do this with Benji when he's in the mood for it. If it looks like he's already doing it or, you know, like I kind of feel it out. I'm not going to do this with him on days when he's jumping a lot, high energy, you know, because sometimes I'll do one test run and if he doesn't do it, I just end it right there because I want every single time to be a success and a pos positive experience. Right now he really needs help with impulse control and so that is what this is. It's a long and tedious process but after a few days of doing it he really got the hang of it and now I'm able to teach him stay uh -uh. while doing this which is really nice nope. because other commands are now being uh -uh. integrated. Back it up. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Sit. Stay. Nope. Sit. Okay, yours. However, other commands that can get practiced basically all day, every day, are taking much longer than I thought they would. If you want a good security camera, I suggest Tapo because we love watching him. There you go. Again, practicing how he will be living life in the future. It is really important to me that he's well enough behaved that he can come everywhere with me. Oh. Sit. I hear the train coming and it's perfect. I definitely want to socialize him to sounds he will be hearing all the time and other sights he'll be hearing all the time. And going to Fort Langley to do that was just the perfect opportunity. We were able to do things overall by distance. I'm really happy that he wasn't scared of the sound at all. I tried to keep everything just a very positive experience and I'm so glad, like he did so well. Hey, Benji, Benji, look at me. Yes, good boy. It's a really nice day, so I thought I would take advantage of that. And I don't know if he's exactly ready for this, but yes, he's doing a really good job. He barked one time and that's it. So, oh, he's still a puppy. He still bites me, especially my socks and my shoes. Let go. Yes, good boy. Oh, he's watching the kids. You can see his little, I don't know if you can see, but here I can see his little nose twitching. That's so cute. Benji, look at me. Look at me. Yes, good boy. 
look at how she's sitting right now. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. Yes, good boy. Honestly, you guys, probably not what you want to see, but I am not feeling optimistic about puppy training anymore. He was doing so well the first two weeks. There was a lots of improvements you could see every day. And now it just seems like we're regressing and I don't know why. I'm watching videos, I'm looking things up, um, trying to ask for help and I don't know, things are not going very well. Um, I have to say commands multiple times for him to listen. He just wants to eat everything except for his toys, just anything else that... Look, look, there's something in his mouth right now. What are you eating? Crepe. I'm really trying to teach him impulse control and to not chew my shoes. He's going through all of my clothes. He's already wrecked a pair of my pants. And then my other two have tiny holes and thread tears in them. And that's all I have. Those are all of my pairs of pants. And my brand new coat I got for Christmas and my brand new Christmas shoes are also getting holes in them. And it's just a lot. And I thought we would be over this by right now. And I try to lose his energy, but he's not interested in running around with me. He, like, throwing the ball, he'll do inside but not outside, and then he gets distracted eventually inside. It's just, yeah, anytime I take him out, all he wants to do is chew on my pants and my clothes and my shoes, and has no interest in doing anything else except for attacking me. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Benji, look at me. Yes, good boy. Ah, nope. Leave it. Benji, look at me. Benji, look at me. Benji, look at me. Look. No. Hey! Uh-uh. Leave it. Leave it! Hey Benji, look at me. Yes, good boy. Down. Wait. Wait. Yes, good boy. Touch. Yes, good boy. Benji. Uh-oh. 